Hi friends, welcome back to our tutorials. We are continuing with our Angular 9 full tutorial series and we are continuing to focus on learning on reactive forms. In today's episode, we are going to learn how to set values for our form which was built using reactive forms using form group. This is a continuation series, so if you have missed out on the previous tutorials, please check them out so that you have continuity in learning. Welcome back, my name is Sridhar. I have over 10 years of experience as a full stack developer and I'm here to share my knowledge with you. During the course of this tutorial series, if you have any questions, just ask me in the comment section below. I will be happy to help you for free. I'm putting in a lot of hard work in compiling these tutorials and series for you. So I will appreciate if you can subscribe to my channel and also like my videos. Thank you in advance. I've created a full playlist on Angular, which has around 46 tutorials now covering from introduction basic to the advanced detail level on all of the features of Angular 9. If you are learning Angular, this is a must see tutorial playlist. Uh, the link is in the description box below. Please check it out to learn and master Angular 9. All right, so we are continuing with our Angular form series now. And in the previous episodes, we learned how to build template driven forms. We learned how to build reactive forms. We have also learned how to add validations in our Angular reactive forms. We have also learned how to get values of the form and individual form controls in our application. Today's episode, we are focusing on how to set values of the form group in our application. To set values, there are two ways of doing it, to setting value. One is using set value method and the other is using patch value. So when we say set value, we, we can either set the value of the entire form or we can set it for individual form controls. So when we say that we have to set for form entire values of the form, remember that we use set value. And whenever we use set value, we have to pass values of all the fields, all the form controls of the form. We cannot leave, we cannot omit any field in the form. Remember that because we are using set value. But if you want to set individual form controls fields, then we can use a method called patch value. I will show you that now in action. Let's get started. So let's first see our application in action. So this is the reactive form that we built. It has a simple few fields, some validations that we have added. Now let's extend the code and write it. So this is our form. So to do that, first thing we need to make sure is we have to use the same form and do set value. So we will write here this dot checkout form. So see by default, there is no form values that are set. So we are trying to set that checkout dot set value. Now remember I told you whenever we use set form, we have to set all the fields. We cannot ignore any field. So we will say test at test.com quantity is 10 and then I'll say terms true. Right. So the, using this, we are using the set value method. We are setting entire form value. Remember, we cannot omit or leave any field. So now you see by default, because we have put it on ng on init, it is loading the form with the values, right? Now I'll show you the error part of it. So you go to console, clear it. And now I'm not passing a value of terms, right? I'm not passing the value. So now you would see it will result in errors. Must supply a value for form control with the name terms, right? That's because we have not passed it. So to do that, to address that issue instead of set value, 
copy this as it is i'll comment it out for you for your reference copy this form all over again and here now using we will use a method called patch value instead of set value we will say patch value okay so it should be small patch value and now i will not pass a detail right so you see now i'm setting the form values only for email and quantity i'm not passing terms here whereas when you use set value you have to use all the fields here i'm only using two controls email address and quantity let's see the form right so now you see it has populated both of these but this is not yet so when you select it will be disabled or enabled so this way we can set any we can set all the form in one go or we can set individual elements using set value or patch value this is extremely important when you are doing an edit kind of a functionality where you want to pre-populate the value so set value and patch value are your friends in the next episode, I'm going to show you how to reset the forms. Okay, that's yet another important functionality when it comes to adding. Uh, whenever you're working with forms, you have to reset values. So you will learn that in the next tutorial. Make sure you have liked this video and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much in advance. See you in the next episode.